Hi everybody, we're in the garage and I wanted to reshoot my video on my um, HD cap, which is a uh, clone of the Namco Tekken Bloodline cap. Uh, it's called a Namco Nowhere and it, you notice there's no badges or anything. This is a China clone of it and it uses the same monitor, a 720 HD monitor that plugs into my Xbox 360 through the VGA port. And I'm running a Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition in the background just as I'm going over it. I'm actually, um, I've pretty much done with this. I've done a few things to change its cosmetics a little bit. Got the, the joystick shaft covers on this and I've color coded all the buttons to map to where um, your, your Xbox buttons appropriate to your controller so you know which one's like the green to go forward and the red to go out and stuff like that. I have a, the controls wired through the JAMA harness and um, I have two hacked controller pads uh, that go to a fingerboard and that fingerboard is plugged right into the JAMA harness so that um, both harnesses are intact. The, the jewel button on the player one controller is mapped to the test button so I can actually just lift this panel and hit the test button in there and I'll use that as a jewel button. There's volume controls in here. This is a really great cap and if, as you can see the video looks phenomenal. There's plenty of room inside for your Xbox. There's probably room for two consoles actually if you wanted to s uh, switch it back and forth and like I said it's plugged into the VGA so you can use a VGA switch box if you wanted to uh, along with the audio is uh, going through stereo to this amplifier and it comes out of these these speakers here. I have it turned down right now. So by far this is my favorite cab right now. I love this cab so much because I get to play all these modern fighters and anything that uses a digital control Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Tekken, Soul Calibur, Virtua Fighter, Dead or Alive, I mean it goes on and on. I mean, I'm a big fighting game fan and I, um, I have tons of JAMA cabinets, I have tons of fighting game PCBs and actually this has taken center spot. I've kind of left all my um, my dynamos in other places, none of them are set up for fighting games in my garage really right now because this cabinet is pretty much taking the place for everything. I get to run the latest of the Street Fighter franchises between uh, um, Marvel vs. Capcom and Street Fighter 4, the latest updates on my Xbox 360 because they're actually coming out that way. And if you're going to get this uh, real arcade version of this you would for Super Street Fighter 4, you would actually have to have um, two separate cabinets because the arcade PCBs actually play one player and they link together to give you a player versus player. So you actually have to have two two main boards and two separate cabinets to run side by side. And that's just not going to happen in anybody's home. And I love this cabinet. And one of the reasons why I really love it is because you get to do all sorts of neat stuff like just kind of going out and jumping into your favorite games. And because of... Um, Xbox Arcade, you have so many things to choose from when you have all these games stored on your hard drive. And I can even play things on emulation. I can stick a main, main machine in here and play it on the 16x9 monitor. So driving games even play on here. But one of the games that's become a, a family favorite is Pac-Man CEDX. And it's, a, it's an update to uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition that came out a couple of years ago and last year they updated it with DX and DX is just it's just insane and uh, you play in time attack and you kind of string together all your ghosts and the reason why I really like this cab is because I have it's, these uh, Sanwa JLF joysticks with a octagonal um, restrictor and I actually have a four-way um, joystick restrictor here and it's set to it's actually the square gate and set the four way and I actually can just open the control panel, snap that in, it takes me like a minute and then I have a true four way joystick for Pac-Man CEDX. So, and this game it, it, it looks really great and I don't know if you've actually tried it. Um, I'll just go in and uh, score attack. And this is extra mode. So you're running around collecting all these girls. And they kind of follow you as you pass by them. They kind of wake from their sleep mode. And I'm going to go about this a little early, just so I can show you. 
that's one of the most satisfying things I've done in gaming this whole year. Pretty much. And you can notice that it slows down, it has like a bullet time as you face ghosts. It's very forgiving. It's great for kids. And there's even a save where you can basically kind of bump the ghosts and kind of save yourself. So I love this cab. And even though I am a big console gamer and I have a lot of classic cabs and such, this is just kind of taking center and court. The kids like it because they can walk up and they can play standing or I can sit in a seat and it's just really a comfortable cab. So it actually takes a lot of traffic in my personal arcade. So thanks for watching this video.